Anyways, um, what else is going on? Uh, also, this weekend, Saturday, make sure you join me. Um, hi, Cynthia. Hi, Lynn. Join me, Joe, and Peg. All three of us are going to be live um, Saturday morning to do some really awesome stuff with U.S. Art Quest. And I believe that starts at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So um, definitely join us and see what awesome stuff we're going to be doing. I am going to be working with Micah during that. Um, hi, guys. Hi, Pam. Who else just joined us? Doris, welcome. And who else is here? Uh, I think I said Cynthia. I think I said hello to Cynthia already. Welcome again. Um, what else is going on? Oh, the following week, which is um, June 8th, I am also doing an event with Peg. And we are doing something with the Muse Box. You guys, really, you need to join the Muse Box with me. It is an awesome, awesome program. And it's called, um, it's mailboxmuse.com, I believe. Um, so check that out. If not, um, oh, you got your stamps today, Peg. Great. Um, hopefully, uh, I will have the, not hopefully, I will have all the links to everything on my um, blog tomorrow, and that's terrysproul.blogspot.com, including this um, video. And what else? Um, also, that same day, hi, Karen. I'm going to wave to Karen. Hi, Karen. Um, uh, yes, also, that same day, um, June 8th, we are doing a blog hop with Sin City Stamps, and we're giving away a lot of blog candy on that. And like I said, there is a design team call up for that, so make sure you check that out. So that's kind of the business that's going on right now. I hope everybody had a fantastic holiday. I didn't do much. Um, my kitty had an operation on Sunday, and she's my babies. So I had to come home a little earlier than I would probably have normally done. I would have spent the whole day at the pool, but I came home because I need to see my babies. She's only eight months old. She got fixed. It's not a big operation, but you know how mommies are. Especially this one. This one's the worst. You know, so. Okay. Um, looks like we have 14 people in the room. And we'll give it just a couple more minutes. I'll chat here for a couple more minutes, and then we'll get started. Or actually, let me change cameras, and then I'll show you some stuff while a few more people pop in. So hold on here while I change cameras. I'm learning how to do some cool stuff here with the chat, so I'm getting a little bad at this, so I apologize. Oh, I should have checked this camera. Apologize, this might be way off. Well, that's not horrible. Okay. I should have checked my camera earlier. Let me fix that a little bit for you guys. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I have been playing in my art journal, so I want to show you some of that stuff. But also, before we get started, I want to show you this. I was at Michael's over the weekend, and they had this really cool set. I remember I was telling you to... Um, yeah, I'm getting a few seconds lag also on my end, but it's not horrible. I told you guys to start, you know, be brave and maybe pick up some different mediums. I found this, and I thought it was very interesting. Um, this is a whole set from Golden, and it comes with six acrylic gel mediums in it. And they're all smaller size gel um, containers. So they're little containers, and it has all these different mediums in there that you can try out. So if you're looking to, you know, do something a little new, this would be a great way to do it. And it comes with six mediums, and it does come with some directions. But honestly, if I don't know how to use a product, I go to YouTube, and I YouTube it and see what I come up with. This was $27 at Michael's, and um, it... You could. I actually used my 40% off coupon, and then this weekend they had a 25% coupon. Hi, Denise, on top of that. So I got it for a pretty decent price. So if you can get a good coupon, this might be a fun kit to purchase to get a lot of different mediums out of it. And we will work with some of the mediums in the future. So um, 
but again, if you don't have something, don't stress about it. Just have fun. I just want to uh, talk to you about that. I want to show off a little bit of what I've been doing this week because I have been playing in my art journal, of course, because I don't know about you guys. Well, actually, I've been hearing that from you guys. I can't get enough of my art journal. I'm having way too much fun. So let me show you a couple pages that I've been doing this week. This one is one I'm going to teach you guys probably next week. And this is a really fun, cool technique. So this is going to be next week's project. So I want to show you that. <clears throat> and then, uh, see, I still have a couple pages that are sticking together. So I'm, this one, I want to tell you about this one. Remember I was talking to you guys about your art journal is a very, um, uh, personal thing and you just kind of go in with it whatever mood you have going well I had a couple really bad days last week and I came in and first thing I did is I painted this whole piece of paper blue because I was blue I was upset so I painted it all blue and actually I used um, gelatos which we're gonna use a little bit tonight but then I did come in and throw some yellow and some green in there and tried to cheer it up a little bit but then I just started going nuts I just I seriously didn't stop. Every time I came into my office, I would put another layer down. These butterflies right here are, are is a stencil, and I actually took that stencil and I um, laid it on top of there like three or four times, and every time I sprayed it with a different color. So that's that turned out really cool. I love the way that looks. In the center, to give myself some three dimension there, I put some heavy 101 from US Art Quest, some pearls, um, pearls which are also from US Art Quest, and Joe will actually be using those on Saturday, and Peg will be using the 101, so they'll show you some other ways to use it. And then I colored it with some watercolor just to give it some dimension. So that center is actually dimensional, which is kind of cool. But, anyways, I just started having really fun, and I just went for it. I, there is no rhyme or reason on this page, and I really, really like the way it turned out. So, you know, have fun. And that's why I named it Crazy Time, and then I wrote Freedom over here. Um, also, I wanted to talk to you guys about gesso. We've been talking about, you know, putting gesso on or not putting gesso on. I really like this page. I'm going to come back to this. But I want to show you this real quick. I did not gesso <clears throat> these two pages when I did them. And look what happens when you don't gesso. Now this isn't going to be a huge problem for me because I can put gesso over this and it's fine. But gesso really helps seal the paper for you so you don't get this leakage that you get um, that I'm getting from not um, doing the uh, gesso. So that's an advantage to doing gesso by is doing that part right there. But let me come back to this. This is not done. This is still a work in progress, but I love, 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 love this so far. Actually, the only bad part about this so far is it's so pretty. I don't know what to do with it next. I'm so in love with this. Um, yes, refresh if you uh, lose me. And I can't believe how pretty this background is turning out. And this is a um, technique that we will be I will be teaching you here in the future, but um, the uh, it's just so pretty. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just dying right now. But this technique does um, have a kind of a stickiness to it, so I am keeping um, Teflon sheets in between my sheet my, in between my pages. But you could use um, uh, plastic. All kinds of different things could work to keep your pages from not sticking between them while you're waiting for them to dry. And like I said, this is not a problem. I'll just gesso it. Okay, let's get down to the real book now. Oh, the, not the real book. The other one I'm working on. Okay, tonight's lesson. Tonight, I am going to teach you guys how to use these um, new paints from Tim Holtz, the Distress Paints. Well, they're not too new, but they aren't, you know, they're, they're actually new to me because I actually have not purchased them before now. So I did buy three of them. I got three colors, and uh, let me tell you the names of them. Ha! 
Hi, um, Debbie. Welcome. This one is peeled paint. This one is mustard seed. And this one is spurn sugar. Spun sugar. So those are the three colors that I am going to use tonight. And I'm going to start off by wetting down my canvas. And again, I'm just using a plain old spray bottle of water. So I'm just putting a little bit of water on my canvas. And these paints, I have to admit they were they are a little not were. They are a little pricey. They're $4.99 a piece. So I definitely did use my um 40% off coupon um, and actually I got really lucky because Tim uh, Michaels had a coupon for all of Tim's stuff and it was all 40% off so that's the reason that I picked some of these up and I'm just getting some color down these do come out in the they're like a dauber they're not regular acrylic paint or they are regular acrylic paint but they're um, they seem to be a lot wetter than acrylic paint seems to be. Acrylic paint is a little thicker, I think. Um, and I'm sure these are acrylic paints because they are made with acrylic. That's what makes an acrylic paint acrylic paint. But I am... Oh, you're loving watching me on the iPad? Very cool. Isn't that cool that you can watch on the iPad and your iPhone and all kinds of stuff these days? So again, I'm just throwing some color down right now. And I did have a basic wet canvas, not hugely wet, but I did wet down my canvas. And I'm using the three Tim Holtz um, paints that I purchased over the weekend. They had such a good coupon, couldn't help myself. This pink, I have to admit, was a little lighter than I thought it was going to be in the bottle. Um, so I, w I did kind of was a little bummed about that because my, my green and my, my yellow are very um, intense colors. So I was kind of bummed that I got such a light pink, but oh well. <laughs> no big deal. Okay, so I got some color on my page. And I want my water bottle again. And I'm just going to wet these paints down. Now the advantage of these paints is they do allow you to get your um, get really wet. They they smear really nice when you get them really wet. They really really run. So that's what's nice about them is they run really well. That's what I discovered. Now. If you don't have these paints and you're wanting to do a technique like this, I don't see why using plain old um, acrylic paints would work just as well. So I'm just letting that paint move. Now if you wanted to protect your pages underneath, remember to put a Teflon sheet or... I got a little too much water going here. Let me find a Teflon light. Oh, where's my... There they are, paper towels! Sorry about that, guys. Had to grab my paper towels. This is running just... I don't want it to run into my spine too much, but I do want it to move and blend. Now I might even do the smash technique right here. You guys have seen me do that before. Oh, 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 likey. Likey, likey, likey. Now, while I'm thinking about it right here, because this is kind of reminding me of something, I see that most of you guys are using a spiral um, notebook, also like mine. But if you aren't using a spiral notebook, say you're using one that has a spine in it, you can take um, acrylic, uh, not acrylic paint, what's the word I'm looking for, um, masking tape, and tape the inside of your, um, put tape on your spine, and that will help it um, uh, not seep into your pages below. So if you're having that problem, if you're using a book, is anybody using a book that is like that? 
And I know there's a lag, so I'm going to have to wait for that, um, for you guys to answer that question. Because I'm seeing a lag on my end. So I'm just taking my paintbrush and blending these colors together. Okay, I'm going to just drag, wipe this down just a little bit, and then bring some more color back on. This is a really cool technique that um, Karen did a couple weeks ago. She did this exact same thing. She took a paper towel and laid it down and it grabbed the tech the texture below it so I don't know if you guys can see that right there but see how it grabbed that texture of that um, that paper towel that's kind of fun it's not what I wanted to do right now but it is kind of cool that it does do that so this definitely needs more pink This kind of loses the pink, and that's what I kind of. That's why I think this wasn't a strong enough pink. I should have got a different pink. But what can I do to make? Now we are doing mixed media, so I could come in with another medium and bring in some more color. I could come in with um, paint, acrylic paints. I could come in with gelatos. You can get these gelatos just for an FYI over at alteredpages.com. A little wetter than I want it to be, so I'm tapping it down. I don't see any comments. I don't know if it's stopped over here. Oh, there. Oh, good, Debbie. You used the masking tape? Yes, exactly. So if you are using, I'll come back to that since um, I just finally seen a comment on it. If you are using a, a book that is not spiral bound, you can take masking tape and what you do is you put it in the spine. Let's see if I have a book around here that has, I'm just going to, I'm just going to demonstrate on a magazine. What you would do is take the tape and put it right here on the spine of the, of the, um, of your book. And that will help the seepage from going through to the pages if you're doing such a wet technique like I'm doing here. So that should help anybody if anybody's having that problem. I don't know if anybody is, but I wanted to address that. And you know me, I'm using my finger because it's my favorite tool. And happy fingers! You know I love happy fingers. This is so weird how much of a lag time I'm seeing. But it's okay. At least I'm getting to see the chat tonight, so I'm happy about that. We've got a great prize for Saturday also. Um, we are getting Susan um, Piccaroli from US Art Quest has given us one of her DVDs. That is a $30 value for that DVD, so that is really great that she did that. And I'm just doing that dripping technique. I'm kind of letting it drip down the side, down the front here. You can kind of see that. Oh, I like that. See, I'm starting to like this. See, I, I was really not happy there for a second, and now I'm starting to like it. Okay, okay, liking that now. I'm going to have to do that over here. See, that's what's nice about doing this technique is there's really no rhyme or reason. If you don't like something, you just keep going over it till you like it. And I'm dripping down this side. Hopefully I'm not off camera. I've got my screen kind of split, so I apologize if I go off camera a little bit. I'm trying to keep it. So I can't see my whole screen, but I think I'm okay.
let it move to different ways. Okay, I'm liking that. And again, remember, you can come in even with markers. You can take markers and um, also come in and do a little bit of moving around and getting, um, as long as your paper's wet, if the paper's wet, it'll blend with your markers. If you go into a dry area, they won't blend as well. It'll, it'll kind of stain the, um, the paper, which is you know what a marker's supposed to do. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's what it's supposed to do. But I was hoping Tristan's here because it's his birthday today. I wanted to say happy birthday to Mr. Tristan. Now, if he didn't show up, it looks like. So I'm just going to quickly do a little drying here so I can get some um, more work done. The dark pink on this one, it does kind of look like a tulip, doesn't it? Okay, I apologize guys, we've got to get some drying in. Okay, that's good enough for government work, as they say. <clears throat> yeah, I'm using the um, virtual journal, too. I really like it. I'm really happy with it. Okay, looks good. <clears throat> okay, where's my front? Okay, so this is my bottom of my page. I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. I want to put a little dimension in there, so I'm going to come in with some stamps. And, and these are from the journaling stamps. The new journaling stamps from Sin City from me should be out um, in about a week and a half. There is a really, really good coupon right now um, on my All Things Terry Sprout page. So hopefully you are posting your, if you are new to here, post your pages and your pictures and stuff up on the um, the uh, my page, all things Terry Sproul, please. And you get entered into doing contests and all kinds of stuff. We are doing um, this week. I hope you can see this. I'm just inking up my ink pad and just going for it. I am giving away um, a set of stamps tonight. And I didn't want a really uh, dark color, so I went with this. This is just a um, turquoise color blue from, and it is a dye ink. And this is from um, Stuart Superior, which is stuartsuperior.com. Oh, that one is too close, been shut down. What's too close, it's been shut down, Liz. Okay, now my thoughts on tonight <clears throat> are teaching you a couple techniques. One, I want to teach you a technique where, I don't know about you, but I love the look of a ripped paper where it looks like something's ripped and there's something coming from behind it. So I am going to show you how I do that, and I use a plain piece of, um, now this is important, you want to have a thin paper when you do this technique. So this technique um, is, this um, paper is very thin, you don't want to use cardstock, this is um, regular, I always want to call it typing paper, but that totally dates me, computer paper, and um, write in the blah blah dot com. I, Debbie, they won't allow us to do um, uh, dot coms on here. So anyways, this is a thin paper and it is important to do this technique. 
So you take the paper and you rip out like a um, V, I guess is what I want to say up on the top here. See how I have that V ripped out? Hoping I'm staying in camera here. And then what you can do is you can lay that piece of paper down. Make sure I'm in camera here. Okay. I'm going to pull out. Hold on, you guys, so I can see this. I want to make sure you guys can see that. Okay, I'm going to do this on the bottom because I know you can see there. There we go. So you can lay the piece of paper down with the V showing. And then you're going to go in with your ink pad and your ink, your stamps. And, well, the duh. <laughs> Sorry. This is just a really cool journaling background type word stamps. But the, my new stamps that are coming out has something very similar to this coming out. And then when you stamp, you're only going to see that in that corner. And I love the way that looks. So you can do that in different places. So I can move this to right here. And I should have re-inked my black, and I didn't, so I'm going to real quickly use my purple. Because I can re-ink that one. I have my re-inker right here. Yeah, we can't do, um, they don't allow us to do links on YouTube yet. Let's hopefully they will change that sometime in the future. So this can work with all kinds of stamps. It doesn't have to be a word stamp like this is, but it really looks cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that one. Look at that one. That one looks really cool. Except for I got too much ink and it kind of ran through. But that's okay. Because there is no wrong in art journals. So I'm going to quickly make myself a new one. See, that's what's nice about this also. Is if your wand gets bad, it's just a cheap piece of paper. You can make another one. I know you can't see this up on top as well, but I'm just going to use it anyways. Oh, don't want this to ink over there. Now the reason you want to not use a large, uh, thicker piece of paper is because it will, um, there we go, it will not give you a clean edge. So that's the reason that you don't want to use a thick piece of paper. So that's my fun technique for today. Again, I apologize if I keep getting out of screen here. I'm trying not to. <laughs> but I like this um, technique where you just take a, a um, ripped piece of paper and then you kind of just have fun with it. Okay. Nope, didn't get enough ink on that one, but that's okay. There is no wrong. I love that's what part, best part about journaling. There is no wrong. Also, while I'm thinking about it, while I'm doing this, the other thing that you might start thinking about is even though right now I've been doing in, in, in order one page at a time just going through the book, sometimes your book gets really, really thick or you get some really thick pages going and your book starts getting um, warped and, you know, willy wonk and it makes it really hard to, to do your pages. So how you can fix that is you can actually <clears throat> skip around in your book. And what I mean by that is work some from the front, work some from the back. So next time maybe instead of doing a page right here, maybe I'll go all the way back here and start doing a page. And that way you don't get that willy wonk of, of your book getting all nasty and it kind of helps you out to have some more balance and be able to do your pages so they're not um, they're laying flat. 
So that's a good, good learning curve. Okay, I wanted to play tonight with napkins. And this is another really great way to get some really fun um, stuff on your pages. And if you're not an art, um, an artist, I personally can't draw. So I like to use things that are already done for me. That's why I love stamps so much. But tonight I'm going to use um, napkins. So what you do is, and you get a lot out of a napkin. This is one that I took just half of it, cut all the butterflies out, and now I'm going to use it for my collage background. Now you do want to, when you do this technique, you want to get rid of all the white on the back of your um, napkins. You want to get down to just the color. And sometimes you can easily just pull that white right off and it's super easy and gives you no problems. And other times it can be a complete bear. And I'm going to show you a couple techniques on how to do it if it's a complete bear. Like this one's going to be easy. Watch. They almost always have two layers on them. So one, two. So I'm taking both the layers off. Now you can keep these for future reference. I'm not, you don't have to throw this away. But we're only keeping this. You want to get down to the all the white being gone. So I didn't make you watch me fussy cut, but I am going to make you watch me tear these apart. <laughs> so I'm actually hoping I'll come down. I should have done a couple of these before I got on air, but I didn't. Sorry, guys. If there's another one that's going to come right off for me, no problem. So a lot of times the, the, they come right off and you have no problem at all. If you do have problems, the trick is mask, or not masking tape, um, uh, scotch tape. You put a piece of scotch tape on both sides, not scotch tape, um, damn it, what's the name of this stuff? You know, I guess it is scotch tape. I know, isn't that a pretty napkin? I agree with you, Debbie, I love it too. So, if you guys are not collecting napkins yet, collect napkins. Seriously. You can get all kinds of beautiful stuff off of napkins. The best place to buy them for the best price is um, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, um, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning has the best collection of napkins. Besides Joe. Joe has the best collection of napkins. But you know what dancing game is? Who the dancing? I don't know who dancing game is. Who's dance? Why are you asking? But um, t uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning has the best um, collections. Mermaid napkins on Amazon. Oh, I haven't seen those yet. I would love those. Yeah, order those, Joe. And send me some. <laughs> See how I am? Okay, here's one that doesn't work. Comment removed. Author withheld. If you get some tape, but you want to um, get a lot of the uh, stickiness off of it, so I put it on my clothes or on my jeans or something, and it gets a lot of the stickiness off of it. And then you can take that piece of tape, because all the stickiness is off of it, and I put it on. And it'll help me just pull that right off. See that? Perfect every time. So that's my cute little trick on how to do this without ruining your uh, your your napkins. So I always put it on the um, the white side, not the colored side. Who's putting? Oh, they're putting rude comments. And where they left the I don't like bad people. Why is there bad people in this world? Joe, go beat them up for me. I'm glad I'm not seeing them. You can spam them. I can spam them. Good to know. Yeah, <laughs> the whole package. Yeah, you never. I agree with that. That would be a great idea. Um, a napkin swap would be very fun if somebody wants to set that up because, like you said, you never need the whole package. 
Um, so it's a great way to get a lot of different napkins from everybody. Okay. Is that person gone who was writing all that nasty stuff? What were they writing? What kind of nasty stuff were they writing? I hate people to do stuff like that. That's so mean. Why would people do that? Oh, you did find the mermaid stamps? You just ran out of room for napkins. <laughs> you just have to get rid of the husband. Husband doesn't need to be around. We need our napkins. Okay, I'm almost done here. I apologize, guys. I really should have done some of these off air. Okay, what are we at? 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, I need to get moving. Okay, I'll do those. Okay, now I almost always, I have to admit this, when it comes to napkins, there's nothing better than PPA map for, from U.S. Art Quest. I have to admit, they, they make the best glue when it comes to that. When it comes to napkins, I can't complain. They are my favorite. So I'm going to put some PPA into a little mixing bowl here. And start putting some... Um, Hi, Christy. Welcome. And I'm just going to start laying these butterflies down into the uh, PPA mat. And I do go right over the top of them also. Now you could use gloss if you want it. There is no wrong, no right. You could definitely use gloss if you wanted to use gloss. Um, I'm going to put some a gloss technique over this whole thing, so I'm not really. I really don't matter to me right now, as far as matte or gloss. I happen to have matte on my desk, so that's what I went for. But you definitely could use gloss. Yeah, I think one of you guys should start a um, napkin swap. That would be very fun. Now I am working upside down here, so don't mind. Hopefully this will be perfect. Oh, love that butterfly right there. So pretty. Look at this one. Isn't that one gorgeous? Yeah, these are a lot of these are from US Art Quest. You can get some of these napkins from US Art Quest. Or like I said, um, you can also get them from uh, Tuesday morning. Has them. What's nice about going to US Art Quest though is they will do that for you. Um, the, the Tuesday morning, as you know, you're going to get a whole package. And like somebody just said, you don't necessarily need a whole package. So if you want to just do a few, you can go to US Art Quest and she's already packaged them up for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Now that's all the butterflies I'm going to put on right now. I actually will be putting on more later. But I want to get going and do something else here. Where are they? I want to put a bunch of flowers down here on the bottom. And I am going to use Stays On. And I'm going to use this beautiful stamp um, from, this is actually from Sin City. I'm actually going to use one. This is actually not from my plate. This is actually from her um, rosette plate which is one of my favorites, but I'm going to use this flower and I'm also going to use the flower from my kit. Oh, don't look, Terry's not worth my time. Oh, hopefully it wasn't like an artist, or hopefully it was just somebody being a horrible person because it's even worse when it's a fellow designer being bad. Okay, where is my other stamp? I had a creek. Oh, there it is. It was buried. It was buried. So, more flower stamps. And again, you could come in and do some detail stamps on this. You know, make this all, um, color all these stamps in. You could use all kinds of stuff. You could use the markers. You could use the gelatos. 
Um, whatever it is. Okay. So I am going to continue to fill in those uh, flowers and add more of the butterflies. I'm actually going to put all of these on here. Now, the other thing that I am completely madly in love with right now, guys, I have to admit, is last week I kind of, or not last week, the week before, last time we were together, I should say, I used um, Interference Blue, and I am in love with Interference Blue, or Interference Colors in general. So, this week I went out and bought Interference Gold. Now, I will tell you this. I'm telling you guys to stay with cheap stuff and all that stuff, and I still believe that. But I am not finding any ear interferences in my Michaels in the cheap paints. I'm only finding them in Goldens or Latex. So I apologize for that. They are a little bit more pricey. But honestly, you probably would never have to buy this again. So if you do go buy something like this, if you splurge and, um, you know, um, hi Kelly, hi Vicki, if, so if you do splurge and you um, get something like this, you're going to have it for a really long time. So if you can do it every once in a while, this would be a fun splurge. And I really love the, the hue that it gives to my projects when I'm done. So I'm excited about using the gold tonight because I did use the blue last time. Now, tonight I want to do something like Dare to Dream and may your, um, what was I going to say? Uh, Dare to Dream and Dream Big. So that's kind of where I was going to go with this. Now, this Dare to Dream here, it's not going to fit anywhere on my page as one stamp without going over a butterfly. And I don't think I like that. So I think what I'm going to do is ink this up and use a mask to cover up the letters that I don't want to, or words that I don't want to use. So I'm going to first ink up dare, just the word dare. And I am using stays on because we are working with this page. And I'm going to take my, even though I, I didn't put ink anywhere else, I'm probably okay. I am going to put down my piece of paper just to protect myself, and I'm going to put that dare right there. Dare. Now, it didn't come out right very well right there, but that's okay because I can come in with a pen later and fix it because I don't stress about that stuff. And now I'm going to do the two. And again, I'm going to protect my piece of paper and come in and cover up those words. So I'm going to cover up the dare and the two, I mean the dream. i got to make sure I'm going the right way here because I'm upside down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm working upside down here. <laughs> this is harder than you think. There, two. Yes, I could stamp these and cut these out also. Oh, that one didn't come out at all. Okay. What is this, not inked up well enough? It's probably the problem. And yes, I should brayer that in, but I'm not doing it. Okay, dear two. Let's see if I can get a two this time. There we go. Two, yay. And then dream. I think I'm going to put dream right there. Again, I'm just going to ink up what I need to ink up. And I'm just going to protect the rest of it. So another really great way to use your stamps. There we go. And I'm just going to fix that dare. 
Now on this other side, I am really going to uh, real quickly. To, did I just go away? Am I gone? I think I'm okay. I'm not positive. Kind of went away on my end. I might need to refresh on my end, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys are seeing me. I don't see anything coming up in the chat, so I'm assuming we're all okay. Okay, so I'm going to come in real quick and fill in my dare that didn't come out. And then I'm going to come in on this page. So they got the Dare to Dream on that side. Like, 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 like that a lot. I'm going to put Dream Big over here. But I am going to use how much time? Oh, we're running out of time. Oh, one of these days. You know what I'm going to have to do next week for you guys? I've already decided. I am going to, um, next week, I am going to start my page and have it partly done. So that you guys actually can see me finish a page because I don't think you've ever seen me finish a page and I don't like that because there's a lot of details in the end that I want to get into. So that's what we're going to do next week. And these stamps, these are letter stamps again from um, Stamp Potique. And I'm using these because they are big letters and I'm going to write dream big. So <laughs> I want it big letters. DR. I do, since I'm sitting here doing this part, let me give out the winner. The winner for last week is going to win my new set of stamps. Now, I do want to let this person know right off the bat, you are not going to be able to get the stamps immediately. They are just coming in right now. So I believe she said it would be after the 6 before they came in. But the winner is, and I cannot say your last name correctly, Robin, but the winner is Robin H. And I, 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 I don't have your name in front of me to even try to pronounce it. Hoss, horse something, D-R-E-A-M, right? Dream. Um, so you are my winner. So I need you to email me your address and we will get you out the um, set of stamps. Oh no, I want to use a big A. I don't like that small A. Dream big. So congratulations to Robin for doing a great job on her posts and her pages. Not that everybody has been doing a great job on their pages. Oh, love, 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 love. Um, and then next week, what I have, for, uh, actually, we are doing a prize for next week. I'm not sure what it's going to be right off the top of my head. But I am working on the prize for the, the whole, this whole thing, and I've got a good one coming up. Um, oh, love, love. Hope you guys can see that. Love. How cool that turned out. Anyways, um, I have been collecting some fun books. And um, um, uh, I hope you guys, dream big, are interested in, I've been catching some really cool books for the grand prize. You're calling me? Why are you calling me? What's going on? Something's going on. Um... Hold on, let me, let me pull this open so I can read the chat. Yell now. Uh, got voicemail. Yelling now. Oh, because I'm not on my, um, dear sweetie, I am not on my cell phone, remember? If you got voicemail, that means you are talking to my cell phone. Why are you calling me in the middle of a show? I don't understand. <laughs> I 
you to call me right now. Why are you calling me? What? What? Ugh. Okay. Where's my big? And then we're out of here. <laughs> you guys are evil. You know that? Evil. Okay. Where's my G? Um, now I can't find my G. Uh, any new comments over here? You guys having any questions? I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel like I didn't teach you much tonight. But I do want to do that next week where we, um, I can't find my G. We'll find the G and finish that up here in a second. So anyways, is there any questions for tonight? I am going to show, oh, I want to, oh no, I need to do that. I'll do it on this side. I want to show you this before I close up. I'm not finished with this yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and color in my flowers to make them all really pretty. But I want to show you this really cool, the interference. This stuff is so awesome. I'm just going to do it up here on top and then I can um, do it again and finish it up later. This is something that you can put on the absolute top of your um, pages. It could be the last thing you put on. It doesn't have to be. You can put it on in between, but the 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 effect it gives is just awesome. Now it does go on. Can you see that? It goes on. See that right there? It's going on kind of creamy. Don't freak out about that. See how it's completely covering that butterfly? Don't freak out. It dries clear. I know it kind of looks creepy when you first put it on. You're like, oh my god, Terry, you just ruined that page. But it'll dry clear. And I'm going to try to prove that to you here. I'm going to turn this around so you can see that corner. So that's where I put it on, right there. And it has that real milky look right now. But watch. As it dries... It becomes more of a sheen. See how more uh, it's more of a sheen right now? See that? Because you can see where I didn't use it and where I did use it. Now that really is a cool sheen over the whole page when you're done. So it's a great way to finish out your page. So what I'm going to do to finish this page out is I, like I said, I'm going to go in and color all of my flowers in because I want to bunch of flowers down here in the bottom. I'm going to put some more butterflies around and then I'm going to go in and touch up my letters and make them pop and who knows what else I might do but next week I promise that I am going to do a, sh do a project, have it painted in the background and then come back and do touch up at the end with you guys. So you'll get to see me finish out a project for the first time. I am going to switch cameras because I think that's important. I am switching cameras right now. I'm back to my face camera. I want to thank everybody for joining me again tonight. It was another fantastic hour show. Um, I hope you guys all had fun. And remember to post your projects on my All Things Terry Sproul group on Facebook to be entered into prizes. Remember to join me on um, Saturday with Joe and Peg at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It'll be right here on the same channel. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you guys. Oh, I was going to say next week, but I'll see all of you on Saturday. Tell your friends to um, uh, uh, tell me about it, Peg. <laughs> Try being me. <laughs> Peg was just telling me it's very hard for her to sit there and not giggle at what Joe writes on the side. You guys, you have no idea what I go through. <laughs> what I go through with him, really. <laughs> but we love him anyways. So anyways, join me on Saturday and Peg on Saturday. And I hope you guys had a great time. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with your journals this week. Have a great day.